If you contract the coronavirus, specifically, the virus responsible for COVID-19, SARS-CoV-2, the outcome can vary widely depending on factors such as your age, underlying health conditions, and the variant of the virus in circulation. Here's a general overview of what can happen if you get COVID-19. Asymptomatic or mild symptoms. Some people who contract COVID-19 may remain asymptomatic, meaning they don't show any symptoms at all. Others may experience mild symptoms, which can include fever, cough, fatigue, headache, sore throat, loss of taste or smell, and mild respiratory symptoms. In these cases, recovery can typically occur at home through rest, hydration, and over-the-counter medications. Moderate symptoms. Many individuals with COVID-19 develop moderate symptoms such as high fever, more pronounced cough, and difficulty breathing. They may require medical attention, but hospitalization is often not necessary. Treatment may include antiviral medications, pain relief, and monitoring of oxygen levels. Severe symptoms. In some cases, COVID-19 can progress to severe respiratory distress, pneumonia, and acute respiratory distress syndrome, ARDS. Patients with severe symptoms may require hospitalization and oxygen therapy. Some may need mechanical ventilation or other forms of life support in an intensive care unit, ICU. Long COVID. Some individuals, even those with mild or asymptomatic cases, may experience persistent symptoms long after the acute infection has resolved. These symptoms can include fatigue, brain fog, shortness of breath, and more. This condition is known as long COVID, and its exact cause and duration are still being studied. Complications. COVID-19 can lead to a variety of complications, particularly in individuals with pre-existing health conditions. These complications may affect the heart, lungs, kidneys, and other organs. Blood clotting issues, neurological symptoms, and secondary infections are also possible. Death. Unfortunately, some people with COVID-19 do not recover and may die as a result of the infection, particularly those in high-risk groups, such as the elderly and individuals with underlying health conditions. It's essential to follow public health guidelines, get vaccinated when eligible, practice good hygiene, wear masks when recommended, and maintain physical distancing to reduce your risk of contracting the virus. Vaccination has proven highly effective in reducing the severity of illness and the risk of transmission. If you suspect you have COVID-19 or have been in close contact with someone who tested positive, it's important to get tested and follow the guidance of healthcare professionals and public health authorities. This information is based on knowledge available up to September 2021, and the situation may have evolved since then, so it's essential to stay updated with the latest information and guidelines from health authorities.